Maeve is filming a movie and when she's done filming a scene, she confronts Homelander to stop forcing her into these situations. Ashley shows Homelander a video when he goes to terminate a supervillain but he also ended a bystander. The people are protesting Homelander for killing the innocent and Vought wants Homelander to stay quiet while they deal with it. Homelander was about to roast Ashley but Stormfront came and ruined his mood, so he went to his trailer. A-Train wants to change the script so it wouldn't sound like he's retiring but Adam wants to stick with the old script. He doesn't want to do the scene, so Adam tells him to talk with Ashley about it. Kevin is in an interview about his recent marriage to Cassandra and their association with the Church of the Collective. A-Train watches Kevin's ad for the Church of the Collective but he thinks it's a bunch of BS. Stormfront antagonizes A-Train until Ashley shows up to confront A-Train on the scene. She gives him two options which are to do the scene and get paid or get wrecked. A-Train does the scene with Homelander and tries to get it over with. Frenchie follows Kamiko and she goes to a Russian bar to inflict some pain on the gangsters. She goes to the church after to get a hit job from Sherry but Frenchie tries to reason with her. Kamiko feels guilty for getting his brother killed but Frenchie doesn't understand her so he gives up trying to help her. Huey updates Butcher on their findings because he misses him and Butcher lies to him about his situation. He goes to MM after because he thinks Butcher might be going through something. Butcher visits Aunt Judy to see his dog. He talks about his feelings when walking his dog. When he gets back he sees Huey and MM checking up on him but he leaves because he doesn't want to talk about it. When he leaves he sees Black Noir so he goes back in to warn them. MM has a plan and he calls the firefighters so if Black Noir does strike, he has to do it in front of people. Butcher decides to sacrifice himself so they can escape. Huey tries to talk him out of it but he threatens Huey to get out of his way. When the firefighters leave they go to a secured room to hide from Black Noir. Huey asks Judy who Lenny is and he finds out it's Butcher's little brother. When Butcher goes too deep Lenny is the only one who can stop him. Black Noir steps on the booby traps but he isn't dying from the explosion. They had to leave the secure area because Black Noir tossed a gas grenade down there. Butcher leads them out and stays behind to face Black Noir. Right before they start fighting MM breaks in to shoot at Black Noir but it's not affecting him. MM is down so Huey comes in to back them up but he can't aim for his life. Butcher gets knocked out by Black Noir but he gets back up to save them by threatening to expose Homelander's son. Edgar stops Black Noir from killing them as long as Butcher doesn't expose the information. Butcher promises to get Becca back and the boys go when the police show up. Annie sees Donna talking with Stormfront but Annie doesn't have a good poker face. Stormfront hints Annie leaked Compound V's existence and leaves to let them hash out their issue. The marketing team is trying to pitch a scene to Elena and Maeve to make Maeve the leader of the Pride but Elena is against it and leaves because Maeve doesn't say anything. Maeve begs Elena to stay because Homelander could go after her. Maeve goes to Kevin to help him get back into the Seven but he's got to help her with something. Victoria is protesting Homelander's war crime and Homelander suddenly shows up to give a speech. He tries to brush the collateral damage aside but the public wants to hold him accountable and the crowd gets worked up. Homelander wants to attack the protesters but he doesn't and leaves. He has a mental breakdown when he re-watches the broadcast and he goes to Stormfront to get her help. Annie waits until Stormfront has a scene to sneak into her trailer to look for information. Stormfront surprises Annie when she comes back and she tries to BS her way out of it. Stormfront knows she leaked Compound V and plans to tell Vought but if she does Annie will expose her past aliases. She doesn't expose Annie when Homelander comes to tell her about the good news. They start having rough fun after Annie leaves and he finds out his lasers don't kill her so they go even rougher. Annie goes to Frenchie to get her chip removed because Stormfront knows her secret. Huey isn't sure if it's safe but Frenchie removes the chip anyways. Homelander finds the robber and plans to take him to the police but Stormfront wants Homelander to execute the robber. After Homelander terminated the guy from her touches, they started getting it on after everything. Butcher and Kimiko know they are banging and Annie sees their living conditions. Kimiko gives Frenchie the death stare when he sees her and embraces Annie for saving her. Annie is still pissed when Butcher shoots her but she gives them information on Stormfront updating Edgar on a project breakthrough. Butcher invites her for this mission because if Vought finds out they are going to go after Annie first. They prepare to go to the mental hospital and Annie makes an opening so they can sneak in. They fake Frenchie as a patient to get into the security room and they see Vought creating more supervillains. Butcher wanted to shoot Annie but decided not to and when she tried to help him down, he refused her help. Annie is annoyed with Butcher's hatred against soups and right when Butcher is going to say something, Stormfront comes out of nowhere to go to the hospital. Kimiko sees Stormfront and has a panic attack. Tim won't do any more training if he can't talk to his family. When Stormfront leaves Lamplighter burns Tim to death. Frenchie wants to kill Lamplighter for revenge but MM gets him to stay on the mission because they can get revenge later. While they are taking all the hard drives Huey tells them to leave because Stormfront just left. They run into Lamplighter but Frenchie exposes them with his death stare. Lamplighter uses his powers but Frenchie makes him misfire, letting Cindy out. A guard shoots at Cindy so she destroys him and they run to the security room to hide. She lets the rest of the prisoners out and they slaughter everyone around. MM sees what they are doing and persuades Lamplighter to stand down so they can outlive this. Lamplighter wants to go alone while taking his chance until a soup barges in to spit acid on him. 
Kimiko removed the soup off lamplighter and that soup died by spitting acid on himself. On the outside, a soup escapes and attacks them because Butcher acts too friendly like the workers. Butcher ended the soup and when he checked on Huey, he was injured. Annie couldn't use her powers because the electric grid was fried and they left the others to get Huey treatment. Annie stops Dennis to borrow his car but Dennis demands to go with them because they are in the middle of nowhere. Dennis pulls his gun out because he sees Butcher with a gun. Annie was forced to use her powers and ended him. She cauterizes Huey's wound and they drive off. They bring Huey to the hospital and they connect through stories of Huey. They go to the medical room so Lamplighter can treat himself and he triggers Frenchie for not saving those kids. Frenchie wants to kill him but M.M. gets in between to stop them. We get a flashback when M.M. is ready to propose to Monique and Lamplighter shows up. They blackmail Lamplighter to provide them with information on Vaught and he angrily leaves. Grace tells Frenchie to keep an eye on him. Back to the present, Frenchie takes some medicine to create a knockout bomb that affects even soups. Before he makes it he questions why Lamplighter killed the kids. They find out he was after Grace and when he noticed the kids, it was already too late. Frenchie finishes making the knockout bomb and they find out Vaught is trying to stabilize Compound V in adults because the outcome may vary. They want to stabilize Compound V in adults to make more soups with stable powers. Lamplighter doesn't know why they are doing this because his job is to burn the evidence. After Frenchie tells them about Jay overdosing, so he rushes back to help him and that's why he stopped following Lamplighter. Once Jay is up he goes back to his mission but Jay dies from overdosing a couple of months later and he blames himself for it. They hear a knock on the door so M.M. checks it out and a tentacle is wrapped around M.M., Kimiko stops the guy and they find out that it was the guy's D.I.C.K. They make a run for it and Frenchie tosses the knockout bomb at Cindy but she destroys it. Stormfront comes in time to take out Cindy and calls for Lamplighter to ask him what happened. Lamplighter covers for them while Stormfront goes to look for the escapees. Kevin sneaks into Maeve's trailer to give her items from the wreckage and before Kevin leaves she warns him not to tell anyone if he wants back into the Seven. He meets with A-Train after and tries to recruit A-Train to the Church of the Collective. They join Alistair for lunch and Kevin lays out all the problems he had with A-Train. He decides to leave because he doesn't want to deal with it until Alistair exposes A-Train's conditions. Alistair offers to get A-Train back into the Seven. Homelander finds out Stormfront lied to him so he burns his trailer down and confronts her when Stormfront arrives. Ultimately he lets her go. The boys escape from the testing center and Butcher informs them about Huey's condition. Frenchie apologizes to Kimiko for trying to save her so he can make himself feel better even though she didn't ask for it and he will not interfere with her life anymore. Grace comes to terminate Lamplighter but Frenchie pleads for his life because he will not have to deal with the guilt anymore. Stormfront walks in to see Homelander waiting for her and she tells him about her past with Frederick Vaught. She tries to sell her dream of a soup army to Homelander and he forgives her lies. Stormfront is on the news spreading her propaganda where they need more soups to counter the supervillains. Tommy, a supporter buys into the propaganda and terminates a guy believing he was a supervillain. Lamplighter exposes Stormfront and Vaught's shady activities to Victoria and Lisa. Butcher doesn't think Congress will do anything and Victoria is saddened by his comment but she knows it won't be enough to take down Vaught. Victoria wants them to find out why they are testing Compound V because she wants a full picture before she goes after Vaught. Grace has an idea of who can help them but doesn't tell Victoria who it is. They leave and Grace sends Frenchie to look after them but he better not leave his post this time. Butcher tasks Huey to look after Lamplighter and before they head out Butcher finds out his dad Sam passed away. He visits his mom Connie to comfort her but she lies to him to get him to talk with Sam before he passes away. Butcher talks with Sam after Connie convinces him to. Sam is sad Lenny died but he hit them when they were younger to make them stronger and now Butcher is a hard ass. He pushes Butcher's buttons just to prove a point. Annie meets up with Donna to talk about her issues. She finds out Ashley knows of this meeting but it is too late. Everyone is gassed and Black Noir knocks Annie out. When she wakes up, she is in a room that prevents her from using her powers. Tommy's action saddens Homelander and Stormfront and they try to spin it positively. They are bashing Victoria's agenda and Homelander exposes Annie as a mole within the Seven. When Huey is watching Lamplighter, he tells Huey about his past achievements but now he's just garbage. Huey talks about Hugh doing nothing after his wife died and that's why he joined the boys but he is still useless in the group. Huey sees it on the news and tries to save her with Lamplighter's information because he can't reach Butcher. He convinces Lamplighter to go with him by calling him a cuck if he doesn't go. They sneak into Vaught and he brings them to the conference room so he can self-delete for the actions he did. Huey cuts his hands so he can look for Annie. Homelander wants to end Annie but Stormfront convinces him not to because they are trending with a slogan to push Compound V. He brings Stormfront to meet Ryan after she feels sad seeing a baby who looks like her daughter. Becca is annoyed with them because they're pushing Ryan to use his powers when she doesn't want that yet. They try to sell the idea of going out to Ryan and he wants to. Becca talks with Homelander but he doesn't want Ryan to grow up just like him. She argues that Ryan has her and begs Homelander to leave him with her. When Maeve comes back with food, Elena wants to visit her sister to cool her head because of what she saw. Maeve flips out and Elena apologizes to Maeve because she's having a hard time accepting Maeve's true self. Later Ashley finds Maeve hanging out with a random guy. 
She still tries to push Maeve to go on a press tour with Elena but Maeve tells her to show some compassion for once and she lets it go. The emergency signal gave Annie the chance to escape from her cell but Black Noir is there to stop her. Black Noir is beating Annie with ease but luckily Maeve saves Annie and ends Black Noir with his nut allergy. Annie wants Maeve to go with her but she decides to stay, so they go their separate ways. Huey frees Donna from the cell when he hears her and they run into Annie. Grace and M.M. visit Jonah to get him to testify against Vought but he doesn't want to because his family is more important than exposing Vought. When they leave, Grace persuades M.M. to get out to live with his family because the battle with Vought will never end. Butcher visits Jonah when he hears M.M. failed to get his help. Jonah tells Butcher about Homelander's good personality when he was younger but he changed when Jonah tried to make him invincible. Butcher threatens Jonah to help or he's going to delete his whole family. Kimiko teaches Fenchi how to communicate with her when they are watching Victoria. A-Train goes to Alistair's party to apologize to Kevin for the things he did to him before. Alistair tells them the good news that they can go back to Vought because of all the things going down there. He warns them to not have any contact with Eagle because of his toxic personality and Kevin just flipped his opinion right away. A-Train is suspicious of Alistair after hearing what Eagle did. They watch Eagle making a statement about the church and how the church is dragging him to the mud. Later on, Ryan is angry at Becca because he finds out she is lying to him about their living arrangements. He goes with Homelander and they fly off. Grace calls Butcher to inform him about Huey's F-up but Butcher has it sorted. He visits Connie after and finds out she is trying to help him let go of his anger. At the Vought hearing Victoria brings in Jonah to testify against Vought. When Jonah is sworn in, a senator's head explodes, then Jonah's head explodes. People start panicking while heads are exploding. Grace grabs Victoria to get away and Butcher is pissed off with the outcome. Homelander is teaching children what to do when a supervillain shows up because supervillains are showing up more often. Robert informs them that they will be using Compound V because of the Senate hearing disaster. Victoria argues Vought had something to do with it and Robert agrees with them but they don't have proof. Becca escapes the secluded area because Ryan is gone. Annie sends Donna off and goes back to the hideout. They are preparing weapons to take the Seven but Huey is against it because they can try to get someone else to testify. The others know it won't help so that's why they have to eliminate the soups because of what they did. Annie has someone in mind and needs a day to figure it out. On the way, Annie agrees with Butcher because they tried to do it in a good way but nothing happened to Vought. Huey wonders why she is helping him and finds out she's helping him because he never gave up on her. Becca goes to the hideout because they took Ryan. The boys butter up Becca until Butcher shows up with a game plan to find Ryan. The boys smirk at Butcher and he goes out. Homelander wonders how the team is doing and some of them are useless or dead. Stormfront thinks this is a win because their agenda is going along, although with some bumps along the way. Stan Edgar meets with Alistair to talk about re-enlisting Kevin and A-Train. Kevin is easy to get in because of his rehabilitation but A-Train is a liability and Stormfront doesn't like him due to his race. Once business is done Alistair walks Edgar out and A-Train finds out why he got axed. Edgar gets a message that Butcher wants to speak with him. They go to Maeve to ask her to testify against Vought but she passes on it. Maeve is annoyed with their badgering because she knows nothing will change even if she testifies. They leave once Maeve tells them to and on the ride back, Annie complains about Donna. She thought Huey's mom died but she finds out his mom left him when he was six. Huey talks about the good old times until she disappears and never contacts him. A-Train shows up out of nowhere and scares the shit out of them. He gives them evidence against Vought to get rid of Stormfront to get his spot back because he has a grudge against her but he wants to stay anonymous. After Homelander is done with work he goes back to Ryan but he's annoyed Ryan wants to call Becca. Stormfront came in clutch to save the day by bringing him to Planet Vought. Fans start asking for pictures and Ryan starts having a panic attack because he's not used to these things. Homelander notices Ryan and takes him to fly away. When they reach the cabinet, Homelander doesn't know how to deal with Ryan's fear until Stormfront leads Homelander in to comfort Ryan. Homelander talks about his first time getting surrounded and how he had to get away because he was overwhelmed by the crowd. Ryan knows he's not like Homelander but Homelander promises to teach him unlike him when he was growing up because the doctors were afraid of him. Butcher meets with Edgar to pitch him a deal to keep Homelander under Edgar's control. Edgar wonders why he would betray Homelander because Stormfront is helping them sell Compound V. He only thinks about the business because he doesn't have the luxury to lash out like the white men. Butcher offers to kidnap Ryan from Homelander and when he gets him he will inform them. He will hand Ryan over to them and expects them to hide him properly this time but Becca will be staying with him. Edgar thinks he's vicious with his offer but he accepts it. Butcher goes back to the hideout to update Becca on Ryan's location. Huey shows Butcher the gold mine A-Train gave them and he is thrilled with the news. They all want to join Butcher's mission to save Ryan and they start preparing. Butcher doesn't want Becca to go but she's not taking a no for an answer until Butcher swears to bring Ryan back because she doesn't want Ryan to turn out like Homelander. Frenchie asks for Kimiko to help load the car but she is conflicted still because she doesn't know what to do if she freezes up when confronting Stormfront. He reassures Kimiko that she can protect herself, so she'll know what to do when it does come up. Ryan fails to use his powers, so Homelander gives him some advice on manifesting it, but he doesn't hate anyone. 
Stormfront lies to Ryan about colored people hating white people but then she flies off after seeing the notifications on her phone about her past relationships with the furry and Frederick Vaught. The boys plan their rescue mission by using sonic devices to lure Homelander away so Butcher and Becca can get Ryan. Butcher has a change of plans and tells MM to take Becca to Grace. He tells them about the deal with Edgar but he can't do it. Becca wants to go with Butcher but he can't allow himself to spoil Ryan's mind and decides to stay away. Stormfront shows up after throwing the car away and confronts Annie about leaking her past. Butcher runs over to get them out of the car. Kimiko and Annie team up against Stormfront but Stormfront seems like she can hold them off. When Stormfront blows up the cars, that gives Kimiko the chance to attack Stormfront but her electric powers are too overpowered and snaps Kimiko's neck. She knocks over the boys and Annie after. Maeve shows up out of nowhere and starts beating Stormfront. Kimiko heals from her neck snap and they triple team Stormfront. When Stormfront had the chance, she flew right out of there to retrieve Ryan. Butcher baited Vought's operatives to the cabin and Homelander arrived shortly after. He questions them for Ryan's location and ends them all for taking Ryan away. Stormfront attacks Butcher and when she was getting too close, Becca stabbed her. Stormfront strangles Becca while Butcher attacks her. Ryan uses his heat vision on Stormfront due to the anger but he hits Becca also because he couldn't control it. Before Becca dies she wants Butcher to keep Ryan safe. Butcher wants revenge but Homelander shows up to see Stormfront's condition and take Ryan away. Ryan decides to stay with Butcher and Homelander tries to make Butcher hate Ryan but he wants to honor Becca's last wish. Maeve stops Homelander by showing him the plane footage as blackmail and demands to let everyone free from his grasp. Butcher takes Ryan and they leave. Vought holds a press conference and blames the Washington attack on Stormfront while detaining her in a secret location. Homelander apologizes to Annie for wrongfully accusing her of conspiracy and invites her back into the Seven while condemning Stormfront's actions. Alistair is glad A-Train outed Stormfront because she's been causing issues for the church and they celebrate getting back into the Seven. Alistair breaks the bad news to Kevin that only A-Train will go back because if they both go back it would look bad. Kevin is outraged by the church's scam and Alistair kicks him out for being toxic. Huey meets Annie at the park and he wonders if it's safe to go back to the Seven. Annie doesn't want someone else coming and causing problems and she learned it from Huey to hang in there. Huey blunders a confession which causes Annie to misunderstanding but he made it known that he's going to cling onto her forever. Butcher gives Ryan a necklace Becca gave to him to keep him safe and he sends Ryan off with Grace. She lets Butcher know that they are cleared from all charges and Victoria will be overseeing the soup affairs. Victoria gives money to Grace to keep tabs on soups and offers Butcher a job but he walks away. Kimiko and Frenchie go on a journey and MM reunites with his family. Homelander is releasing his stress by whacking off. Alistair congratulates Victoria and she thanks him for Stormfront's intel. He has more info on other soups and wants to cut a deal by getting a tax cut for the church. Victoria wants to set up an appointment but she blows his head up when walking by his place. Huey meets with Victoria for a job because he wants to fight Vought in a safer way and she hires him on the spot. Well that's it for The Boys Season 2, if you got up to this far here are more recaps on the side. Also don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.